What I'm about to show you is literally the ultimate content formula. It's a way to identify crazy good content ideas and topics for your videos. To be honest, it feels like a cheat code and I've actually never even really seen it talked about on YouTube. Um, you know, at least not in the way that I'm gonna show you here. Now this method uses both this tool and this tool. So be sure to click the link below this video, sign up for both of these tools if you want to follow along with the steps. So for this example, I'm just going to pretend that I'm in the fitness niche and I'm trying to sell some sort of fitness app. Why? Because fitness is literally the most saturated and difficult niche in the world. And I wanna show you that even the fitness niche is possible to break into using this method. So let's get into the steps. So all I'm gonna do here is just come up and just type in some sort of you know keyword related to the fitness niche. I'm just gonna type in best uh, abs workout, something like that. Okay, so now it's just gonna pop up and it doesn't really matter. I'm just looking for any sort of you know guru that has a lot of followers, a lot of views and stuff like that. Um, so I'll just go ahead and click this, this one right here, Jeff Nip Nippard. Okay, now because I have this tool installed, it's gonna show me this little button right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this button and click on view trending videos. And this basically shows me his top performing videos. So each one of these things, you'll see a little VPH next to it. This one has 6,949 VPH. That means 6,949 views per hour and so on. But really the main thing I'm trying to do here is identify some sort of niche keyword that I might not not have considered if I was just thinking about, you know, the sort of general broad fitness niche. And so right off the bat, just looking at some of the videos at the top, I'm going to go ahead and choose this one. If I click this video, the reason I chose this one is because this keyword looks kind of interesting. 3D delts. That's not necessarily a keyword that I would have just thought of by myself unless I actually went to this channel and started looking through his videos and the different terminology that he's using. So now that I've identified this sort of niche keyword, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the actual tool right here. And on the left-hand side, I'm just gonna come down right here where it says keywords. And, on, and then I'm just going to paste that keyword right here, 3D delts and hit enter. And so now it's gonna bring up some information about this keyword. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click matching terms, and this is gonna show me, you know, any keywords that are using this exact phrase of 3D delts. I'm gonna come over here to overall and sort this by the best keywords. Generally, you're looking for these ones that are in green because that's basically going to show you keywords that have relatively low competition. So in this case, I can see this keyword right here that's in green, best delts team 3D alpha. I have no idea what that means, but it doesn't necessarily look like something I would be able to make a video out of. Instead, I'm going to come over here to where it says related keywords, and I'm going to click that. And again, I'm going to come over here and sort these by the best keywords with low competition. And now all of a sudden I'm seeing something extremely interesting. This keyword right here, natural hypertrophy has 205,000 searches per month and it has low competition. In other words, there's a lot of people looking for information about natural hypertrophy and there's not that much competition who are targeting this topic. So here we found a gap in the market in terms of supply and demand. There's a lot of people looking for this and not that many people providing information about it, but we're not done yet. This step of the process uses this tool right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open this up. So the first thing I'm gonna do is come over to my filters right here and set some of these filters. Multiplier, I'm gonna bring this up to about 15, which basically means if the video is not performing at least 15 times better than its channel average, I don't wanna see the video. Views, I'm gonna go ahead and bring this up to about 50,000, which is pretty self-explanatory. If it's doing any less than 50,000 views, I don't wanna see it. Now, when it comes to subscribers, I'm gonna bring this slider down this way Way because I'm only trying to see, you know, relatively small channels that have a ton of views, which basically means that they're obviously creating content that is doing extraordinarily well. So in this case, I'm going to put the subscribers, we'll just go ahead and do, you know, any for anywhere up to about 60,000 subscribers. 
And then the rest of these I can go ahead and leave blank, but I am gonna mark right here where it says last six months. So this will show me basically the best performing videos over the last six months. So now I'm gonna hit apply changes. So now it's only going to show us outliers, videos that are performing extremely well. So this one is performing 29 times better. This one's performing 119 times better than the channel average. But obviously I wanna filter this to be in the fitness niche. So I'm just gonna type in, you know, again, something related to fitness, how to work out. And now all of a sudden I can see all of the outliers that are related to the fitness niche. So let's just look at this very first video for example. This video is performing 36 times better than its channel average, which obviously means that this video is performing very, very well, and it's not due to their subscribers. There's a book called Steal Like an Artist by Austin Kleon, and the premise is very simple. He basically says that every successful creation is not actually unique. Whether it's consciously or unconsciously, every idea is based or inspired by the work of somebody else. So now that we've got this video identified, I'm just gonna go ahead and pop it open right here. And let's just watch a little bit of this video to get an idea of what it's about. I am not going to waste your time. This is the best way to get that Greek soldier aesthetic body that's going to boost your attractiveness. What is an aesthetic body? An aesthetic body is lean and muscular with balanced and symmetrical proportions. It's not too bulky because you... Okay, so as we can see here, this is a pretty basic video, but the way that he's constructed this video is obviously a winning formula between the title, the thumbnail, and the content itself. It obviously works very, very well. So the next step of the process is to steal like an artist. So what does it mean to steal like an artist? Well, obviously I'm not just going to steal this person's video, but what I am going to do is take the data that I've been able to discover and I'm going to apply it to this content style. In other words, I might create a video where the title is something like the secret to getting a Greek soldier aesthetic with natural hypertrophy, but I'm going to replace the main subject of the video and make it all about natural hypertrophy. So then essentially what we have is a high traffic, highly in demand keyword subject in combination with a winning content formula. I'm going to make the actual video have a very similar flow with this sort of AI generated, you know, statues and stuff like that. But most importantly is the last step of the process. And with this step, again, this is where we basically want to add some sort of call to action somewhere in this video that is going to send people to our actual product demonstration of the app that I'm trying to sell. So at some point during this video, it's gonna say something like, by the way, if you wanna see my number one favorite app for staying super shredded or you know whatever the case may be, I will have the link for that down in the description below. Be sure to check that out. And now all of a sudden, I've been able to take all of these ingredients that's obviously going to direct people towards my main sales objective. So there you have it. That is the ultimate content formula. That's it for this one. See you in the next video.